hello friends this is opening and welcome to learn sap app so in this session we are going to see how you can create your own web browser in sap app with model pool programming okay so in this session we are going to create a screen with one text field as a url and we will add one input field in order to enter the website and we are going to create one button next to the input field so whenever we will enter any website and click on button the bra the web browser will open the particular website as per the response in from our sap okay so let's go to the app, app editor but wait if you are the first time on my channel then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification of more such interesting videos okay so stay tuned till the end and keep watching this video so now today we are going to create the web browser in sap app okay so for that what we need we just need to first design one screen in that screen we will use the browser level as a url uh, then an in text field and and we will add one more button uh, so once, whenever we will click on that go button uh, go button so it will open the web uh, the web uh, web page okay so for that we just need to define one variable for url so we will the variable type uh care 255 because you are okay yeah, type type 255 activate okay okay so now what we will do we will just design the screen for that right spawn screen under it and double click on the screen okay give it a url screen name as url screen and increase the length click on the layout mm -hmm. okay so now what we will do we will design this screen okay first of all we will, uh, now we will design this screen 100 okay so first of all we will put the custom con uh, control on the screen just click on the custom control and drag and drop drag and drop to our screen okay so, and give the name for the custom control control c1 t and click on ok okay then we just need one more field call as a text level then we need one text field and We'll write here in the URL the name as a URL okay give the name as a URL so URL okay and we just need one, one input field in that we will enter the url okay so for that we will click on the dictionary field and click on get from program and as you can see here url as we had already declared in the main program we will click and just put here okay so we will reduce the length of the url okay because we have to we have to put the one more button over here now just simply click on the button and put here give the name as a go okay okay so now we have designed our screen with the custom control so I one text field and the input output field and one button called let's go okay so click and activate okay okay so now we have successfully designed our screen okay now we'll write some coding part so now here just one comment is model status in this model status we are going to write the logic first go to the main program and here create one more include in order to run code include 
selection then activate okay okay so now okay so now we have uncommented this module just double click on this module and write a code over here so here we have to first uh, write the code for for the container okay we have to just create the object for the container so that go to the main program and define the object for container so global object container type refer to clgi al custom container okay and we will need one more object in order to display the html view of website so that we will define as a html viewer type refer to cl I HTML viewer okay let's check mm -hmm. GA okay and activate so now as you can see here we have defined an object for container and HTML okay let's go to our module here okay so here we have to create the object for that click on the so for that click on the pattern uh, click on above or above on object button okay and as you can see here we are just type give the name of the container then define a class as a CLGUI custom container I click on okay okay now the container has opened now here and we have to pass the container name whatever we had a given at the time of defining the container okay if you don't know i will show you once again as you can see here double yes in the layout the layout if you click on double click as you can see here cont font name as a font okay just copy this name from here and go to your container and give the control over here okay let's move the unwanted code and comment to exception okay and okay so now we have to create one more object in for the HTML viewer so I can simply click on the pattern other object okay here we will change as a go html viewer clgi html viewer and okay okay so now as you can see here parent so in the parent we have to pass the custom container object okay so as you can see here custom container so we are going to to put this HTML viewer on the custom container, okay. So, in the parent now, uncomment the exception, uncomment the exception, okay. Yes, okay, okay. And here, write one more condition if this custom container. If custom container is initial, then only we will create custom container. Okay? Otherwise, it will customize each and every time, which is no use. Set the one time if it is initial or not. Okay, say so can activate. Okay, now go to this module on command this and double click double click on the user command and click on the create in the model now here we write case s y you come so now here we write case s y you come 
okay now when okay so this model we are uh, we are implementing in the case of uh, whenever we will click on the go button so this user command we are designing in case of uh, in case of we will click on the go button okay, whenever we will click on the go button on the browser give the name of give the function code name go okay okay so here again just click on the pattern yeah. ABAP object and okay so here we have to call the show url method of html viewer so give the main viewer give the name of the class cn gui html viewer and method we will just uh, show url and click on ok ok so now as you can see here we have called this method so here url we have to pass the variable of url ok and you can see here frame so let's uncomment this and we have to define so here we have to pass the frame also so we check the what is the type of frame which right, yes frame okay it's a type c go to, the, go to the data declaration and here define a global variable frame type c okay check and activate okay so as you will pass cv frame click on check and activate the frame is unknown frame yeah. and uncomment this exception and activate okay so okay so now we have completed our coding part okay so we'll take the look once whatever we have done in a program so first of all we have just declared one your in url variable and we'll design the select design the screen in that screen we have pass let's say we have defined a custom control custom container we have put the custom container that url and the text field, text field url then input field url and then button as a go okay after that we have defined a pbo module in which we have just create the object for the container and html viewer custom container we pass the name of the container and in html viewer we pass the name of the container object okay here so then we have define the pi module in which we we have written a code for the go we have written a code for the button go button okay with and call this method in order to display the url okay so now go to the and let's check if it is work okay if you want then you can create the t code also for this particular okay but i will execute from directly from sa38 okay engineer let's click on execute okay as you can see here our browser is ready as you can see here url text field and go button okay so i will give the name of our website which is www.learnsapattab.com okay and simply click on the go
okay so here we just need to define a function code go go okay function code okay this is the function called where this function code is to identify the user uh, user after input command okay 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 the ac30 and we will open the browser okay and here we will type w dot run sap abab dot com and if you click on you go as you can see here our website has opened okay so learn triple w dot learn sap abab so we have opened our website okay let's try with some different website we will open that google.com click on the go okay so as you can see here google is also working okay let's try with the gmail click on the go okay so now as you can see gmail has also opened okay so this is the way uh, by writing this simple basic code you can create your own browser in sap okay if you like this video then press the like button below if you have any doubt then write me in a comment section below if you want to learn more about a app then visit to my website www.tenisipyapapp.com the link is also given in the description and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification about my next upcoming videos okay so friends bye signing out